on a Tuesday morning. You know what I'm saying? Tip top motherfucking Magoo G. How's it going over there? It's going great. I had a great weekend. How was yours? No, you up in Saratoga. Did oh, you yeah. Go to Sacramento? You bet the horses, anything? That's the most upsetting thing about I love going up. I've been up there like four or five times. The track is open for like six weeks. It's That's like, it. oh, yeah, it's gotta be July. It, there's nothing. It, and I've, I've always been up there like right before, right after. I've been to that track once. That's fun. I, I love going to the track with you in California. The track is fun. Track is fun, man. I would have loved to have gone you to the track. I have no fucking idea. Like, you know, sometimes I think, well, everything gets a bad taboo. And I, listen, we have a lot of bad taboos. People are addicted to the internet. People are addicted mm -hmm. to some people like gambling. Look, no matter what you do, some people like snorting coke. Some people like, you know, whatever. <laughs> whatever the fuck you're going to do, you know. What are you laughing about? <laughs> that's like no, that's not a minor one. That's a pretty big one. What's that? I feel like some people maybe gamble a little bit. Some yeah. people snort a lot of cocaine. Some people <laughs> go to rehab and now everybody gets mad at cocaine. Some people go to rehab and people get mad at heroin and prescription pills. <laughs> some idiot fucking bets, you know, the wrong move after people told him and now he loses his house and he has to move with his mother and don't <laughs> gamble because it's bad, you know. Everything is a fucking taboo lately. Like everybody, right. you know, now, you know, a, a million people. Let me tell you something. And I, and I tell you this with all my heart because I get a lot of shit for it. I personally like DraftKings. I have mm -hmm. met people on the street that have come up to me and said, dog, I had a boring life till I got on DraftKings. And you're right. The guy goes, I've been on there for two years. I go, so this is the only site. He goes, nah, you talked about it on your church days. And I signed up and I'm still with him. Jamie from Rogan, you mm -hmm. know, he lives in Texas. He loves DraftKings when he's out of the fucking state, when he travels with Joe, whatever. <clears throat> they have limits you could set. People have mm -hmm. no idea what they're fucking talking about. And there is a lot. The, the, the thing that concerns me with gambling that I read about it and I saw an expose on 60 Minutes is the video games. <clears throat> you know, the pokers and all that shit. A lot right. of those teams have something, a light that really drives women crazy. Over the last couple of years, women have gotten more addicted and gotten in trouble with gambling than men, actually. That's interesting. And they get addicted to those games. You know, listen, when I call Lee and I go, Lee, Memphis is playing Brooklyn tonight. The line is eight. And you go, it's eight and a half. We're in New York. The line goes up a half a point. And I bet 300 times. That's 1,500 if I win and 1,800 if I lose. I got to have the money for you on Thursday. I can make that call with zero money in the bank and zero coming in like I did a 1,000 times. That's the bad part of gambling. Now you got to meet the guy on Thursday. Now you don't have his 300. So he juices you. And now it's going to take you a year to get out of that. Right. That's, and then gambling is bad. I actually like the set limits. There's a timer you could put on there. If you go to the casino, there's so many different things. If you have overactivity, they'll send you a fucking email, dog. If right. something's not right, you know, so. I respect that more than anything. You know, you were talking about the track. How much did we giggle at the track? Oh, that's the thing. Was it's the best. You go eat. It's not even about gambling. But if I bring you to this track down here, ooh. Oh, I'm I sure that's know. fun. That's like I'm sure people take it. Up. I got a track 20 minutes from my house, Lee. Really? But it's real. Oh, I love those. It's I can just see them. They're activities. yelling. Oh, people yeah. With incubators in them and fucking wheelchairs and people pickpocketing you and people borrowing a dollar. It's real, Jack. Oh, that's I used to gamble a lot. Like I like I can see. And then you, those are the people that gambling like met. Like I used to go to commerce. I went to a place. What's the casino in L.A. got raided by the FBI. <laughs> I was there the next day. <clears throat> Like I went like like people there take it they fucking take it serious. Like at at some of them, 
and they like they get mad if you play wrong. Like I'm, I would love to see the track by your house to just see like the people who like can just go nuts, and like they like they're hitting themselves with their tickets. I had a guy hitting. It's it's it's. There's, listen, I used to go to the Meadowlands, which I have not been to. I went to a concert there this last year. Okay. But besides that, I haven't gone to gamble at the Meadowlands. And even though I had to walk home two times from Meadowlands because I lost everything with my friends, those were the best times I ever had. I swear to God, I'd go down there with the small 40, and if I could stay for six races, I was happy. Yeah. 40 bucks. I had no dough when I was 18 and 19. I'd take two 20s. If I lost all my money, but I ate a bowl of clam chowder <laughs> and a beer, I won for the fucking day. Yeah. And, and it took all day. That's why, like, it's fun. And you don't, I don't know anything about, like, the horses. Down to you? Dude, I don't even, I, dog, I, I haven't smelled the horse in years. <laughs> you know, what the fuck do I know? But you go, you, you pick your daughter's birthday. Right. Your birthday. You look at the things. They have little, you know, I don't know. I, I forget a lot of shit. If they're bleeders, you have to look for a steroid that they give them. This is all. I'm not up to that shit, Lee. So for me, I would go to the ATM. I'd pull out 60 bucks and I'd go to the track with you. Yeah. And it, it lasts for however long it lasts. So, Joey, why wouldn't you take the limit out? Because I know I'm a fucking loser. And so if know. I know I'm a loser, <laughs> I go in there for entertainment. But I go in there looking for entertainment. Listen, anytime you go to one of those places, you just fucking people watch. How many times did I sit with you in a casino, put twenty dollars in the slot machine, that you know a quarter a piece? I'm there for an hour. Do you think I wanted to be there for an hour, pulling and smelling smoke and hearing Chinese people yelling and shit? No. But I'm a comedian and I like to people watch. So you, you and I, Doug, why do you think I would pull a quarter? Once I got bored, then I move up to a dollar and get the fuck out of there. <laughs> I'd absorb, you know, you're watching people in their natural habitat. You're watching a woman who's 480 pounds, looks like me, <laughs> in a wheelchair. She's barely living, but she has enough life to pull that fucking arm or to hit that button 80 times. <laughs>